Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. See that right there? That's a fucking bobcat. Two days ago. Hi guys, this is Alex from a &R Design. Uh, we're sitting here cozy by the fire because it's cold as hell out today, but we are going to be reviewing the FN510. This is a tactical variant, comes with a 22 round mag and a 15 round magazine. And I just drop slide while it is safe. That's what that bad Larry looked like. This gun is essentially just the scaled up version of an FN509. So we're not gonna go through all the features of the 510 because they're identical to the 509 tactical. Suppressor height sights, threaded barrel, optic ready platform, and your traditional 509 look, which is now the 510. And the uh, 50, 510 and the 545 will be fitting the same exact holster. And you're in luck, we made a holster. This one is in Coyote. It's a little wider than our standard CNC cut holsters just because of the body of this gun and how heavy it is with the 22 round mag. We wanted a little bit more footprint against the body to just make sure that it stays tight with all that weight. FN is going to be selling these on their e-store. They will be black holsters with the FN logo branded on them. For anything else, Gucci patterns, crazy camos, and limited edition drops, we will have them as well on our website in those configurations. We are also releasing an AIWB for FN. So if you do choose to carry it with the 15 round magazine, it, I don't have the AIWB here with me, but we think you're gonna be able to conceal carry this gun if you wanna carry a, uh, if you wanna carry a 10 millimeter, uh, this is the gun to do it with. We are very impressed by the recoil um, mitigation of the recoil spring system. It's a very soft shooting 10 millimeter pistol. And we're gonna show you that today. We are running the FN 510 today in the cold. So this is an extreme weather test, Mike Jones. I'm just kidding. Love you, Mike. Um, yeah, we're gonna run it. Gonna do it a little, a little target array here. See how fast we can get our cadence between the array. Plug some targets at distance. I did not zero this on paper. This was bore sighted at like probably 20 feet in my garage. We will get the hits. Well, I got all my hits, so it's a good sign. It's a soft shooting gun. Long boy extendos. That was a failure to feed. One thing to note, this longer 22 round mag is very difficult to hand load. I do recommend getting some sort of speed loader for it. I don't have a speed loader that fits it and I only jammed it to 21 rounds. It's got a lot of spring tension. You know, we're getting a couple failure to feeds. I'm checking the, the I'm checking the bullets to see if there's any case defamation or <laughs> deformation. 
where the projectile is pressed into the case if there's any swelling. I mean, these are, this is PMC bronze FMJ 10 millimeter. It's kind of pretty much like the cheapest 10 milli you can get. Affordable ammo tends to not be the greatest in a performance gun. And this is the only ammo I have to test today. So this is definitely not a direct reflection of this gun. Short stroke the trigger on the first shot, but every shot afterwards, pretty fast gun for a 10 mil. Really controllable. So we shot the 510 with PMC bronze 10 millimeter and we had issues. What we did notice is these mags have a very acute angle that they feed at. There are three feed ramp surfaces inside the barrel and the bottom of the cases, the, the, the nose of the bullet was binding and then all it needed was the tiniest little push in the bottom of the case to push it up into the extractor right in front of the striker face and it was perfect. So I would drop mag, push mag back in and it was enough to just move that round back up into place. So because that PMC bronze was bull nosing into the feed ramps, uh, we're gonna try some ammo. We did get some other ammo we're gonna start with the Corbon 10 millimeter, 150 grain jacketed hollow points. So they're a cleaner looking case. They're a more tapered bullet, they're a little bit more tapered at the nose of the bullet than the PMC bronze target ammo. So maybe we'll get better performance out of that. That is a loud gun. Uh, no feeding issues. It's a higher pressure round two than the PMC bronze. Like I'm feeling it in my hands. It's got a lot more gas to it. All right, that's, that's two mags with the PMC bronze, at, or uh, the Corbon 150, the 150 grain, they got two rounds left, might as well just shoot it. So, no issues. So I do believe we have a couple different other ammos to try. Uh, but I do believe the issues that we had with this gun was specifically the PMC bronze garbage bottom of the barrel ammo. Uh, we have Federal Fusion 200 grain bonded hollow points left to try and your affordable CCI Blazer brass case. These are 180 grain full metal jacket. So. I'm gonna put a couple more mags through this gun and show you that it runs great with other ammo. Well, that's good. Yeah. God, fusions are great, dude. This ammo, it is a lot more bull nose though. I've killed a lot of things with Feral Fusion. It's good ammo, but the nose of it is so much wider and flatter than even the PMC stuff, so we'll see. So again, Federal Fusion 200 grain bonded hollow, uh, bonded soft points. A lot more flat bull nose to them, so who knows? It might not work, it might work. No issues. And to go back to the previous part of the video where we were having issues every single magazine, uh, that's three mags so far with two different types of ammo with no issues whatsoever.
Blazer, CCI 180, 10 mil. No issues with the 180 CCI Blazer brass case, 180 grain. All right, so we tested four kinds of ammo through the 510. We initially bought PMC Bronze Target Ammo as the ammo that we were gonna do our YouTube video on. And coincidentally enough, that is the only ammo that this gun didn't like. <laughs> so we had to come back to the range, we had to reshoot you know, this gun running, because obviously we want to make sure that we are getting the gun to run. Um, the magazines are definitely softening up a little bit now that we're into round count 400-ish, 300-ish. Uh, everything's kind of smoothing out, which is great, but the PMC Bronze still doesn't like this gun. Everything else that we shot, the Federal Fusions, the Blazer, the Corbon, uh, jacketed hollow points, ran flawlessly through this gun, we've had zero malfunctions, zero failure to feeds. So we're gonna chalk this up to a win. It's a really soft shooting 10 millimeter. It's a lot of fun. It's great with an optic, comes from the factory with a threaded barrel. It has all the bells and whistle features that you would normally get in the Tactical 509 from FN, but in the 10 millimeter package. So it comes with a single 15 round mag, the 22 round extended mag and the optic plate system in the threaded barrel, which is again the same as the 509 tactical, but in their 10 millimeter f platform, the 510. It's a shooter. I want to shoot a deer with this next year. I think that would be a lot of fun. Put a big honking can on it and, and use those Federal Fusion 200 grain uh, soft point uh, hunting ammo. So if you're looking for a new 10 mil, we really, really enjoy this 10 mil. It's a really the, the 509 and the 509 series of guns have been a very well-balanced gun. Uh, they do have a slighter higher, higher height over bore, but the way that FN designed their recoil systems and tuned these guns specifically, they have a nice return to zero. So even though you're getting a little snappy, a little bit feels snappy, all that mass and slide and that spring tension for the recoil system is just slamming the slide right back to where you left your dot and it makes for a very pleasant shooter, a very accurate shooter, a very consistent shooter. So we do highly recommend the FN 510. Just don't use PMC bronze. Uh, we did speak with FN. They used PMC bronze in, in some of their testing. They said that they didn't really have issues with it. We had issues with it. So I would just don't go out and buy a brick. <laughs> don't buy a massive brick of ammo. I would say, you know, buy some ammos that you're interested in, in running through your gun, run them through your gun when you get them, and then make, make the educated scientific guess of, or uh, choice of what <laughs> ammunition you want to run in your gun. But all these much higher end ammos that we decided to put through it today ran perfectly. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like the video, share it. Uh, we're trying to grow our YouTube channel and we hope that the quality of the content that we are producing is worthy.